So in this video, I will demonstrate how to use Questosim. So once you have installed in your system Questosim, you will be seeing this icon here. So just double click that one. This is the interface that you see here. Well, we will go to this jump start here. So if you have already created, you can select open a project. If you want to create, go to this create a project. You select this one, create project. And here type your project name. For example, you are doing, let's say full adder. Type full adder, don't give spaces in the project name, like you are typing full space adder, like that don't give spaces because some EDA tools will not properly work with the spaces. So without uh, space, you can give like full adder, like that is okay, or underscore is also okay, but no spaces. And then, here you have to select the project location. Go to Browse. And uh, this is the default where this Vesta uh, got installed. Don't do in that. So some other place you please select. So for example, on uh, desktop here. Uh, on desktop also, just don't select here. Just select a uh, folder like that. So you have to create wherever you are selecting. Uh, so there you just create a folder, new folder. And then properly name it, like you are doing full adder, right? So full adder. So this name can be anything. Again, the same rule is applicable. You should not be giving any space here, okay? And then select folder, that folder. So now, by default, whatever settings are there, let that be like that. Just click on okay. Then this is the prompt that you are going to get. In this prompt, uh, if you want to create right now, here you can select create file or just close and later on profile you can create. I'll be selecting this one, uh, create new file. Here, uh, I'll be giving my file name FA. Same rules are applicable everywhere, wherever they are giving some name. Don't give the spaces. In the file type here is I'll be selecting very long. If you are working with system very long, select system very long or any other, like you are working with VHDL. So I'll be working with very lot. Select OK, and then close. And then we have to edit this, right? This uh, FA.v file. So just double click this one. So you should be getting this uh, editor here. In this editor, start typing module, that is FA. And then uh, we have A, B, C inputs, sum and C, O outputs. And I have here input A comma B comma C. And I have output that is sum comma C, O. Then I'll be doing it in data flow, that is assign sum equal to a xor b xor c and then assign c o and then here in parenthesis a percent b a and b and then or again within parenthesis a and c and then or and then finally C and A, uh, sorry, uh, B and C or uh, C and B. So that is B and C, semicolon. And then end module. So once you have done your coding here, you just go here and save this. After that, you have to develop a test bench. So for that, you just press your mouse left button and hold it like this. It will give the options here, select very low. 
So we are going to work with the log file. So back port time scale one nanosecond slash one picosecond and this is module and just bench pb and then here these things I'll copy here and I'll paste them here and uh, this one is a DUT instantiation so I'll put it here This is some of the design of the test. And the inputs will become reg. And the output will become wire. And uh, I'm, I'm going to have one loop variable so that it will be the right. So now initial begin. So this begin will have an end and the end module will have module will have end module. So I'm just keeping them here. And then here select that for loop. I mean uh, right for loop uh, equal to zero and then i less than with three variables we can go up to zero to seven, right? So i less than eight and then i equal to i plus one. And then here begin, and this begin also will have end. Here I'm concatenating this A, B, C variables and assigning I to them. And uh, time delay here. And then what left here? I want to print them here. So I'll put a dollar monitor here. Dollar monitor. So that is uh, dollar time, and then here that is uh, time will be nanoseconds, and then I'm giving the tab, and then a equal to percentage zero d, and b equal to percentage zero d. C equal to percentage zero D and then sum sum equal to percentage zero D and then uh, C equal to C O that is C O equal to percentage zero D. So on this here I mentioned these variables. Some zero and close the parenthesis. So now um, this is for printing on the console here. That uh, this is the transcript window here console. This is done and uh, anything left here. Yeah, this I'm checking. So nothing left. Okay. Uh, we have instantiated module as well. Hope uh, everything has come. Just go for the save. It will prompt to give the file name. So this file name I'll be giving TB. So just save here. The, that is in the same folder that like you have created now on the desktop. So there in that folder you'll be uh, saving this one. TB.v file. So just save. So all is done. We want to run through script that is dot do file. Then again, press your mouse left button. Go to this do. So do file will come here dot do file. In do file, uh, we need to have that is we live uh, work and the v log and the very log files here we have your fa dot v. And another file is tb. We just we created uh, anything, nothing. So if you want to see in the waveform, then you need to have that plus acc kind of thing. Otherwise, if you want to uh, have in the console, that's not required. And then uh, vsim. 
So that is there in the work library and that model name is TB. And uh, this one, uh, I don't want in uh, waveform window. So I just cancel with the switch. It will just print in the console. That is in this translate window here. And I run till this uh, 110 nanoseconds, okay? So I just go to save this one and it will prompt again the file name. So that file name is this time run, that is simply run. My extension is there anyway, not do. Again, ensure that it is going in FA only. It, it will take to FA only, but you also have to ensure that that is there in FA. And just select, I mean, save it. So you are done with everything now. You are ready with your uh, code and the uh, files here. You can uh, check here, like you know, by typing ls, you can see in your current working directory what are there. Your face there, run.do is there, tb.v is there. These are additional files that the tool creates. You don't bother about that. You only have to bother this one and this one and this one. Okay. Now to run this one, you simply have to type do and then run dot do. Okay. Just press enter. So if everything is fine, then it takes to that simulation. So uh, here you can see here. Uh, at zero nanoseconds, this A is zero, B is zero, C is zero. So you have these values corresponding. So that way you can see all possible cases have come here. So that's how you do this, uh, I mean, use this quest of scene. Okay, now if you want to come out of this uh, simulation, just quit hyphen sim. That is one way of doing. The other way is just go to simulate, simulate and end simulation. That is also you can do. Um, so quit space hyphen sim, just press enter. So you'll come out of that simulation mode and this is your normal mode, okay? Don't bother about this errors here, what it is showing. This is uh, because it's a pirated copy or so something. So it is showing, but it is working fine. So just now I demonstrated again, uh, we can, uh, I, I mean, uh, if you think uh, these errors are there, it may run or not uh, second time. So you just run that and do don't run, okay? Do don't run that and press enter. So see, error zero and one is zero. So it is com uh, compiled and going to the simulation. So again, the same result, okay? So that's how you use this tool. And uh, if you want to add uh, like uh, more files, then go to the project simply here. Uh, if you want to do it to GUI mode without this uh, uh, run.do, then you simply have to go here and uh, hold it the way I said, uh, uh, mouse left button and select which file that you are working with. So simply let's say we log again and it will give you here file, uh, untitled file name. Start typing here and just go to the save here. Once you type something, this will be enabled. Then give proper name, ensure that no spaces in the file. So after doing that, uh, one thing that you have to do here is see, we have here, if you type the ls, you will see here there is a file called tv and v, but here it is not added to the project. So if you want to do it through GUI mode, then right click here, go to add to project existing file and uh, browse it for that file. And there is a tv.v and just open it and just click okay. It will be added here. Go to compile and compile all. So that's how you do compile all. So once this is done, you must be seeing here two tick marks here. So it, uh, it ensures that uh, there are no errors here uh, in the transcript window. Now you can go to simulate and go to this start simulation. And here you have to select this work uh, library, expand this, 
then you select your top module. TB is the test branch module that is the top where in which we are instantiating your uh, this DUT. So just click on OK. So what happens here is this is going to uh, simulate uh, this de uh, entire design. Now you can see your TB here. Just right click here and uh, add to wave. So if you do add to wave, you can see here uh, this, uh, I mean, uh, here we must be seeing the signals actually, A, B, C, and then we are not seeing. And the reason for that is uh, no objects found, just a minute. This is, uh, you just close the simulation and simulation, I will tell that. Uh, go to again, uh, simulate, start uh, simulation. This uh, one here, you have to go to this optimization options. And here, apply full visibility to all modules. This you select and click on OK. And then, Select your TV and then same thing that is earlier what we have done. Click OK. So now if you see here, your DUT has come and we can see the signals here. So you can select DUT signals only here them and you can add them to this wave. So now you have this signals here. And now you can run here till let, let's say 100 nanoseconds we are running here. Just edit, uh, remove the P and keep the N and then run. So you have uh, here in this transcript window also and the waveform also. To have full view of this, just click somewhere here in this window. And here there is uh, zoom full. Click on that, you will have the complete visibility of all this, okay? This marker, wherever you place, corresponding to that time, here you have the values here. You can see like uh, in this case, A is 1, B is 1, C is 0. Same thing here, A is 1, B is 1, and C is 0. So correspondingly, we have some 0 and uh, C O 1, okay? So that's how you do GUI mode. If you don't want to do it uh, this way, G GUI mode, then you just first end the simulation and earlier uh, what i have said like running that uh, uh, you know this run dot do this will do that uh, job earlier until uh, what i have demonstrated hope this uh, this uh, brief tutorial will help how to use Vista sim if you have any queries please uh, ask okay so uh, thanks